This is my third attempt to get this video out there. I'm praying and believing God that it's going to go through. That enemy is definitely working against me. Very early this morning, before it was even daylight, it was 4 o'clock in the morning, the Holy Spirit of God had warned me of an evil wind that is blowing of destruction and said that it would not come near my dwelling place, that it would pass over me. I went outside to see if I could see the presence that was moving. I could not see it, so that led me to believe that it had not gotten near me yet, but it is coming. The Holy Spirit warned me of a great shaking in the Middle East, in Iran, in Egypt, in Israel, and in Gaza, and even in Europe and in the United States of America, and Russia, Japan, and China. He warned me of a great shaking like nothing we have ever seen before. He warned me that trade would stop to Israel, that they would cut off trade as Israel's leaders are making the wrong decisions and putting their faith in America and not putting their faith in God. The Holy Spirit of God warned me very early this morning to shut down all my videos of my voice and to be silent and to go into my prayer closet and to pray to intercede for those that are sick intercede for those that need prayer, need a healing, need to be delivered. Pray for the children because the enemy is definitely moving and working in the disobedience of children and rising them up in these last days. The Holy Spirit of God warned me of this evil wind and warned me that it would indeed pass over me. I, while in prayer, I saw plague and pestilence coming. But also, church, we are being warned from the Holy Spirit of God to store up. You already see the signs of the times. We know that a great shift in power and strength is coming. We know a great famine is coming. And the food prices are soaring higher and higher every day. That is before us. Now, we have been warned by the Holy Spirit of God to store up food and water. A lot of people are storing up weapons and ammunition. We do know that is coming. Church, we are not fear-mongering out here. If you cannot read the writing that is on the wall, then truly you don't have an eyes to see what is right before you. Because something big is coming very soon by what the Holy Spirit of God has revealed to me. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. So let us be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The enemy has already been moving against my channel. They have been deleting my videos. They have been deleting comments. This is the third time I tried to record this video already. I recorded it the first time, and a lot of it was cut off. Why? We know the enemy is moving. But greater is he that's in me than he that is in this world. Now, God has called me to intercessory prayer. That means I'm going into prayer and I'm going to intercede for you and I'm going to believe and trust God that, that no plague, no pestilence, no destruction shall come near you and near your household. I'm certainly praying and believing God that the hedge of protection is over you, that God will keep us in the secret places of God and hide us from the face of this enemy and we will receive shelter up under his mighty wings and that any time we're not able to bear it, he will bear us up on his eagle wings and carry us to safety. I believe that. I know that to be true. I know we serve a mighty God. It is time and the season for prayer. It is the season for intercessory prayer. There is a time to talk, a time to preach. There is a time to sow. There is a time and a season for everything. Well, right now, this is not my season for preaching. This is a season for intercessory prayer. And we need to go into our prayer closet and we need to pray against this uh, evil spirit that's out there. We know the spirit of the Antichrist is moving. We know famine is coming. We know that the spirit of the red horseman, that red spirit of war is moving. We see the white spirit of the conqueror who has already gone out to judge and make war against Jerusalem and Israel. We know the enemy is moving. But um, Israel's leaders are making bad choices and they will make a, a move that will anger the nations to war. They are being led by their flesh and not by the spirit of God. 
they are putting too much trust in America and America's military strength. But the Holy Spirit of God revealed me that the veil would be un, would be lifted and what secret that America has, Israel has, China and Russia has will be revealed. China is moving. Russia is moving towards Poland. And when they move towards Poland, it will move the other nations that they have that agreement with Poland to protect them. That if you attack Poland, then they're going to move against you. Everyone is moving. The line is being drawn. Everyone is taking their sides. And we have to watch and be ready to move as the Holy Spirit of God leads us and guides us. And he will, I promise you. He has already warned me of that evil wind that will move past me. It will not come near my dwelling place. In the name of Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior, and I am believing that for you and your house also, that that evil spirit will move past you. And it is moving, church. We all feel something big is coming. We know something big is coming. The Holy Spirit of God has certainly warned us of something big is coming. And we have to be prepared. God wants us prepared. And be prepared to be locked down for a long period of time. Because of the destruction and the plague and the pestilence that is coming, and because of the threat of war, that if you're going to be locked down, you have to be ready for everything. So store up now while you can, because shipment will stop. Trade will stop with Israel. Their enemies are about to lock everything down and stop trade with that nation. And if America is back in Israel, then they're going to move against the United States of America also. Borders are being closed right now. Borders are being locked down. They are securing their borders because I promise you, they know what's coming. They don't want to tell us because of fear. They don't want to put fear into us. But I'm telling you, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. And we are being warned by the Holy Spirit of God about what is coming. Now, either you obey what he tells you to do, take actions now, prepare now, store up food and water, prepare now. He will tell you what he wants you to do. And I'm telling you that some big earthquake is about to hit California. I've been warned for years about San Francisco. Now a great shaking is coming. And we know something big is about to hit. Now let's be prepared. We're already being forewarned. Let us prepare because we know something big is coming. Now let us go into prayer and in intercessory prayer. And let us pray for one another. Because there is power in prayer, and the Holy Spirit is calling me to intercessory prayer. And I am going until I feel that peace, that peace that passes all understanding. I'm praying and believing, God, that this third video will make it through by the grace of God, because it is the will of God. But like I said, my, it's not a time for preaching. It's not a time for teaching. It's a time for intercessory prayer. So let us pray for one another. Let us intercede for one another. God bless you, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ, most holy name we pray. And let the church say amen and amen. When I was praying this morning, I saw the great shaking. Oh, and something's coming to Hawaii and Alaska and I'm watching for that but there's a great shaking coming we know something big is coming we all feel it in our spirit we are watching for the events to unfold before us but we got to prepare because Israel will make a bad move as her leaders are leading them in the wrong direction and that peace treaty is coming very soon. 
And we know that that agreement with hell and death will not stand. We know it will be broken because sudden destruction. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh. If that's the only way they can get inside of this nation of Israel and overtake them because Egypt's coming. And they're going to take this nation. And we're going to see great suffering there. And when they do, church, we're going to all, on the verge of all-out war. And it is coming. And we have to be prepared. If we're going to be locked down, let us be prepared for lockdown. Because we are moving. That evil wind is blowing and I'm telling you I'm going to do everything I can do by the power of the Holy Ghost that's leading me, teaching me and guiding me that that spirit passes over me and that plague and that pestilence does not come near my dwelling place in the name of Jesus so I hope and pray that you'll join me in prayer because that's where I'm going so you have a blessed day and a victorious day in Jesus Christ most holy name we pray and let the church say amen and amen. But I wanted you to know why my videos are on private. Until the Holy Spirit of God releases me to preach or teach, I will be in silent prayer, moving against this force of darkness that's trying to move against us, church. But greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. And we know we have great victory. You see, God calls his warriors, his prayer warriors, those that will go into prayer, that will intercede, that will go into battle against the forces of darkness. God calls us to prayer. And a warrior will win more battles in prayer because it's a time of spiritual warfare. And God is bringing us closer to him as he is moving closer to us. He is teaching us how to pray, how to move, how to win spiritual warfare against this enemy that is moving against us. And I know that power is in prayer, in intercessory prayer. As we lay off that flesh and go into the depth, the deepness of our spirit, led by the Holy Spirit, to intercede, to groan in the Spirit, to pray in the Spirit, as we are led by the Holy Spirit of God to do so. God bless you, my friends.